Hi everyone, Trish here. Thank you so much for coming in to hang out for a little while. Today we are doing our Trash Talking with Trish. I'm going to go through my empties. I'm going to give you a brief review, let you know if I would buy it again. Maybe I already have. And then I can get rid of these because tomorrow's garbage day. So if you are interested in going through my trash, then please keep watching. I do have one food item. Jack accidentally threw the other one away, but these are from Real Good. If y'all watch Kathy from Kathy Care Chats, she introduced us to Real Good with the pieces that she shared that she enjoyed, and I got those. I actually found smaller ones that I like better, the ratio. Then I came across these at Walmart. They are two marinara and ricotta cheese, Italian style entrees. They are, once again, pounded out chicken breast. They filled it with the ch ricotta cheese, and then they put the marinara over it. This was very, very good. They had three at my Walmart. They had this one. They had a, um, what was the other one? It was something with spinach, and it was my favorite. This is second favorite. The other one was a chicken Alfredo, and it wasn't that it was bad, it just wasn't my favorite. But this one and the other one with the spinach, oh, so good, so good. Okay, it's white time. And I didn't do, I didn't, I don't think I did an empties in December. So this is not bad for two months. But four wipes. I used up my Olaplex Bond Maintenance Conditioner. And yes, I have repurchased. Did not have the shampoo too. I still have a little bit of the shampoo left, but yes, I love that. I love it. I don't use it often. Let's stay on the Shampoo Train Purology Strength Cure Condition. This is Serious Color Care Conditioner and Shampoo. This is very expensive. I had some coupons that I used when I bought these, but I'm telling you, I got this, I got the thickening, and I got the sheer hydrate I think it is and I think these are drying I think they dried my hair out not happy about it not happy about it because they're so expensive I won't rebuy those again but I did just buy a bunch of shampoo and conditioner so I'll be sharing that soon in a haul I used up my Mario Badescu the rosehip oil I will not buy it again because it has a lot of fillers in it before it even gets to the rosehip oil. I did buy an ordinary rosehip oil that if I like it, I will use instead of that one. I finished up a Maybelline Fit Me loose powder. This one is in Fair. Um, I'm using another one now and I still have another backup. I have several colors in that. I love that. Um, I love that powder. I used up some of my false lashes, the Salon Perfect Clusters. I used all those up, that's number 615, and I also used up the Kiss Blowout in Pompadour. I have those, I'm sure, good. So these, throw away the long one, that would upset me a little. And these are the Pompadour. Different packaging, but it's the same lash. And these are gorgeous. I used up a Sephora Waterproof Eye Makeup Remover. It was fine. For the first couple times, it kind of burned a little bit, then that left. Finished up a L'Occitane. This is their shower oil uh, cleansing and softening. Finished that up. Uh, yeah. Finished up a 3% hydrogen peroxide. Um, I, I buy mostly the name brand now, but this is the equivalent, except it kind of burned my eyes twice. It was like it didn't process. I don't know if it was the little metal thing wasn't working right or what. I used up a I used up a Crest 3D white. This is their Brilliance Advanced, our most advanced whitening technology. No, it's not. I don't care for this that much. Um, but I could not find this one anywhere. The Crest 3D Glamours, I've told you guys about this this before it removes up to 95% of surface stains in three days. This stuff is amazing, and I finally did find it again, and I bought like six two-packs. I love this. I love this so much. This did nothing. 
my teeth got very stained. It was not pleasant. I used up a TimeWise Repair Volufirm Advanced Lifting Serum. I talked about this in my favorite skincare favorites of 2019. I am using something else right now that a company sent me, and so I am not using this. I do have another one, but I want to kind of see, because I know what this one does. I want to see what the one that was sent to me does. I finished up a Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream under eye, uh, gel cream under eye cream, duh. Anyway, this was nice. I wanted to see how close this was to the Belief eye balm before I rebought the Belief, and it was not. The Belief is much better, but this, if you don't want to pay the amount for the Belief, this is nice. I used up a Natural Mint and the Jack Black Lip Balm. I love them. I got some backups when they were having the holiday packs and then the 20% off. I mean, it's it's better than it's better than any other that I've used. I used up a Lumify, and yes, I did purchase another one. There is nothing that whitens and keeps my eyes as white as this does. Um, and I have no issues with it. I have really sensitive eyes, and I have no issues with that at all. I used up a 0.025 Retin-A and a 0.05, well, Tretinoin, Retin-A, same basic thing, but use them up, and yes, I have two new tubes in my bathroom, and I do have some backups. I finished one of my favorite lip liners. This is from LA Girl. This is their Ultimate. It is the kind that you just, you just roll up, and it is just creamy. It's a perfect barrier. If you have issues finding a lip liner that is going to keep things from traveling, then you might want to try this one. LA Girl, inexpensive, good. This is the Disco Love. Who is this from? Oh, this is from NYX. Epic Eyeliner. This was okay. Uh, it didn't replace my Physician's Formula, but it was okay. And this is the last Physician's Formula regular eyeliner that I have. I switched to the waterproof and I love it. I just think these are some of the best that are out there. This is the contact solution that I use most of the time. This is the name brand of that up and up one that was in there. I love this. I get extended wear for my contacts using this. It cleans them very well. I do prefer the one that has Hydroglide. This does make my contacts more comfortable longer into the day and night when I get the one with Hydroglide. I do enjoy that one. Finished up a Too Faced Prime and Poreless Powder. I won't repurchase that. I have a drawer full of powders that I need to go through and declutter. Um, it's just it's just not one of my favorites. This is a Sephora Solid Clean for your brushes. I use it for my beauty sponges. It cleans everything very nicely. It's not quite as pricey as the named Beauty Blender Cleaner, but it does a good job. I enjoy it. I used up an Up and Up Exfoliating Cotton Rounds. I love those. They are so nice, really. For fingernail polish especially, I love it. I emptied a Essence Eyelash Primer. I do love this eyelash primer. I don't know that it's my absolute favorite anymore, but I do love it. There's a tie. I have a tie with that one and another one that I love. The one from Lashcraft from Sephora. This is this is the Milani Stay Put um, eyebrow pencil. I enjoyed this. I'm not using pencils right now. I'm actually just using the little Maybelline in a with an applicator like the gel, like a brow mascara, that's what I'm using right now. This is the Essence Express Dry Drops. Mm -hmm. I have two more of these, I think, and they don't make these anymore. Michelle is the one that got me hooked on these. They're so good. Um, she does have another, she knows they quit making these and she found one on Amazon that equates to these. I'm going to link her video down below and she has a link that you can use if you're looking for um, if you're looking for 
drops to dry your nails. This is a the Perfect Blonde from Provana, and I'm telling you, this is so purple. And not only... Oh, no, 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 no. Not only... <laughs> Not only is it so purple, let me tell you, I, oh no, 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 no. I have, I have shared before that I have chronic dry hands. And even though I put moisturizers on them, I put oils on them, I do all this, they are still chronically dry, especially this time of the year. Well, sometimes right here is extremely dry. When I use that shampoo, my fingers were stained. Any dry places on my fingers were stained for days. It was ridiculous. But if you want to get a little less brass and a little more ash out of your highlights, that'll do it. But don't do it too much because you will have purple highlights. Okay, so this is something that I did not want to talk about until I knew for sure what was going on. And if it was the culprit or a part of the problem. A couple months ago, I was having some serious stomach issues. And my mind is, you know, I'm thinking the worst. I'm like, do I have cancer or something going on? You know, what's going on? Well, long story short, we went through, we made some changes. And one of those changes was to stop all of my supplements. So I did that. And boy, did my hair start falling out again. So then my stomach pains subsided. My stomach issues subsided. And I'm talking pain. Long story short, as I started adding things back in, it was pretty obvious that there was this one thing that every time I took it, I was having the same issues. And it made me sad. The thing that I had to quit taking was the Halo beauty booster. I did take the ones that were pink and I never got a pink jar. I know she made the change, but I took these faithfully and I could tell such a difference in my hair. If I wasn't taking these, my hair was falling out. But anyway, I've tried several different um, supplements for my skin, for my hair, for my nails, and you know, it just nothing held a candle to these. I mean, they are really good, but there's just something in it that for whatever reason didn't agree with me any longer. I was watching Coffee Break with Danny, and she was talking about these. These are from Briogeo. They are Be Well. They are Omega 3, 6, 9, and Biotin, which before I ever took these, I was on a regimen and I don't remember who who shared it. I know I know it was a YouTube video and she said vitamin E, biotin and fish oil and your hair will grow. And I could tell a difference in my hair when I did that. But nevertheless, Danny is a sister of mine in the fact of, you know, she says she has three hairs on her heads. I might have five. They just don't do a lot. They're fine. Then my hair was thinning and that was so scary. It was so scary. I'm not kidding you. My hair was getting so thin and I was like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? So I tried these and I am enjoying them. Difference. It's not that I've my hair's thick and plush by any means. But what I mean is I can't as easily see my scalp. So that is telling me that I am getting some kind of benefits using this and I love it. I just opened another bottle and I think I have two or three more backups. I don't know if this is my first or second one, but nevertheless, I love this, I do. That is it for my empties. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I hope that you enjoyed the video so much. I hope that you have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.